Okay, so welcome back to the channel and to another episode of the PA podcast or Purgatory's Anarchy podcast. Thinking about changing the name, I probably said that in the last episode, but today we're just going to be talking about life, about Splatoon, and nothing else really. Obviously, we always talk about Splatoon on this channel and whatnot, but I think the first thing I should start with is my life, I guess. The, so, last time I posted something was back in like three weeks ago at this point. Um, quite frankly, a lot has happened. And I'm going to try to see if I can vaguely explain it to you. But <clears throat> just for the sake of, you know, privacy. But the uh, that's a lot has happened to me in, in the past couple months, I would say. Um, I've been working at a job for the last six months. Uh, I've been trying to kind of balance my time better with my job and going to the gym at the same time I have been going to the gym for the past I think we're about to hit three months at this point I'm waiting for I think the next yeah the next charge comes here the next yeah that comes up it comes up here in a couple days but basically I've been doing a lot with my life I've been leaving the house a lot more basically just it's been hard to kind of focus on the YouTube channel currently, um, but I've been trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm not promising anything. I, the last time I did, it wasn't. It didn't go very well. Um, but overall, there was just a lot, and I don't know really where to start. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I guess I'll start with my job. Basically, I started working at a place. I've been working there um, for the past six months. Started there in December. And I was still able to balance the YouTube stuff because the way my schedule was was very different from what it is now, I should say. Basically, at this point, I mean, I'm working five to six days a week sometimes. I'm working almost nonstop. And then the one time, like, I get it usually about three to four hours a day to myself. And usually I try to take that time to just relax for a second. And then I go to the gym pretty late at night. I'm actually going to be going here in about an hour, so hopefully I'm going to make this quick, but on top of that, I guess transitioning uh, is the gym. I've been going to the gym pretty consistently for about five days, five days in a week, but I believe usually Monday through Friday. Sometimes we skip a Wednesday and go on a weekend, but we try to keep it, my friend and I, that I, the friends I go with and I are trying to keep it about five days a week, if not four, um, because you know we're all just busy people and sometimes we you just skip a gym day but we still been making time for it i've been trying to prioritize my health and more than anything my mental health my time management just my my overall like physical health in general and i've been i've i've been going through a lot of positive changes a lot has happened to me i i'm there's a chance i get promoted soon at my job and I mean, yeah, I went to a lot of concerts recently. If anybody here is a metal fan, I went to see Cattle Decapitation, Loathe, Knocked Loose. We saw a band called Show Me the Body. I saw a band called Angel Maker. I met the band members of Signs of the Swarm. All really cool people so far. I mean, uh, I saw Carnifex live too. Um, yeah, there was like almost three days. Yeah, it was three days in a week that I went to a bunch of concerts and we went and it was just kind of spur and kind of well, the cattle decapitation show. We actually had planned three, about two or three months in advance. Um, that, that show was really fun. I'm probably going to post some videos on my Twitter later. If you want to go check that out, I'm not entirely sure yet. I never really post any videos or I never really even post on Twitter anymore or X or whatever we call it now. I, I still call it Twitter because that's, its name that's what I know it for basically YouTube became less of a priority for me right now the game uh, the way I see YouTube and Splatoon and all that stuff is it's kind of been pushed to the side recently and not that I don't care about it it's just the fact that it's been taking up so much so much of my time that I've noticed my health kind of dwindling you know playing Splatoon for a couple hours trying to get gameplays for you guys trying to edit these videos making thumbnails making sure titles and descriptions are, are along the algorithm making sure 
you know, reading my comments whenever I get them, and I do read every single comment out there. I don't get many, but even then, like, it's, I still get enough to be able to kind of just have it impact my time a little bit, but I, I still go, and even when passively, the number one thing I still do is passively going through my comments and making sure, you know, checking out pe what people are saying. I made a post recently t talking, saying that I was going to talk about this stuff, and here we are. I'm finally making it, but again, a lot has changed in my time in, in the last three or four weeks for me. I've, it's YouTube, I still have fun doing. I think I definitely needed this break from it because it was kind of impacting me a little more mentally than I would hope for. But overall, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I can come back. The, the, the uploads are probably still going to be very sporadic. I definitely want to still keep them within Monday through Friday. I don't know if they're going to be daily or every other day like I used to. I think I'm going for a Wednesday and Friday upload schedule. Maybe like a... Because Wednesdays we usually have off from the gym. That's what That way I'm able to still relax and also work on videos. Play video games on my time. That's the other thing. I've just been playing other games. As much as I love Splatoon 3, it the state that it's in is in a... It's a very interesting state, I could say. I think the game is balanced at a... I feel like the game is fairly balanced. There's a few things that are still irritating, like the maps... Still a lot of the maps are pretty boring to play. Um, Mincemeat Metalworks is fun now, I guess. I really like the new Undertow Spillway changes. I have played a little bit of Splatoon 3 while I was away. I definitely wanted to at least take some of that time to play a lot of Splatoon 1. But, uh, uh, you know, I've new games have been coming out recently. I've played a little bit of Endless Ocean. I'm going to be posting the VOD to that or a video over my second channel for that. For my first ever shared dive. Uh, Animal Well came out from Donkey's record, uh, record company, uh, publishing company, uh, Big Mode. Uh, I still need to even play it. Uh, I'm trying to stream that and also post it over on my Let's Play channel. Sorry, I was taking a drink of water, but... Overall, man, like... Life has been good. It's just... I've never had to time manage as much as I am now. I never put so much on myself that... I'm just not used to it, I guess, is a better way of putting it. Like, I'm not used to putting all these things on myself. I had a completely different mindset in the past. Like, I was still, you know, a lot of my free... I still had a lot of free time, so I made a, a lot of that time I did making YouTube videos. And um, also trying to just do other parts of my life. And But I was, you know, I don't know. I, I still kind of lacked in those times, but now we're really trying to figure things out and I think I'm starting to get a better grasp on how I should be handling things I think I've been more comfortable with the th with the way my new daily life is it took quite a lot of time but we are we are we are where we are where we're at now jeez I can't speak um but I think that's that's really all I have to say about I guess my life, I, again, I guess a bit more of a highlight is I've been working, I've been going to the gym, I've been dieting, you know, trying to do some meal prep, cooking around the house, or not cook, just cooking for myself, um, and just overall just doing, just doing things for myself more than doing things for the channel, and unfortunately I know, like, some people will probably be a little frustrated and some people will understand if you understand I appreciate you if you don't understand and you want to unsubscribe because my slip my uploads are going to be slower now um, that is completely okay with me too but we're still at a thousand subscribers I it definitely seemed I didn't lose really anybody and honestly that means a lot to me it's the fact that everybody's still I prob I'm probably saying it now I'm probably gonna see the number go down but being able to come back and still see the subscriber count the way it is I know it's not necessarily about the subscribers it's more about the viewership and how your how things get pushed into the algorithm yes subscribers will kind of push you more into the algorithm sure but 
when you go this long without uploading, it's probably going to be a little rough. So um, I hope this can reach out to the people that have been wondering where I've been. And quite frankly, this, this is where I've been. I've just been living my life a little bit more than usual. I've been going outside more. My time with video games has come cut almost completely in half. Not even a lot more than half, I would say. I still play video games again. I just, you know, just haven't really been playing Splatoon 3. But going on to Splatoon-related stuff, it's actually a good time to talk about this, but I also wanted to talk about everything that has happened in Splatoon. I barely even made a video on the new season. We're sitting here in Marlin Airport, one of the new maps. I did a map walkthrough on it before. I don't think I really put much gameplay out there for it. There's been some Splatfests I've been playing. There's the times I played with my friend. And then, yeah, this is kind of where it fell off for me for a bit. But we're back, and hopefully more consistent. <laughs> so, I I guess we'll see. But, I get, so, talking about Splatoon and everything that's happened. Splatoon 1, rest in peace. I know there's the way you can get on newer servers. And it's actually pretty simple to do. I just haven't set that up yet. It's, it's, uh... That's how busy my life has been, or at least how poor my time management has been. Um, I guess trying to find better words. I don't even know where to start with Splatoon. So, yeah, again, sorry. Splatoon 1, the game, rest in peace, you know. It was the first Splatoon. It was my first Splatoon as well. I was a little late to the party. But, you know, I got access to all the weapons, all the new maps, all the ranked modes that they had. I had everything. The, I was there when all the updates were done, and I got to play the game to its most balanced, quote-unquote, balanced state. Um, and, yeah, but rest in peace to Splatoon. Again, I know you can play it, and it's going to start you from level zero again. Like, you just play a, the game all over again, which is really cool. I think that's actually kind of a interesting way to bring people back to the game and have them play it for you know take a take a break from Splatoon 3 for a bit and play more of Splatoon 1 and even people have been forgetting about Splatoon 2 as well I guess but it, it was not that great of a game it wasn't the best Splatoon I would say um, in terms of my tier list, I still think Splatoon 3 is better than Splatoon 1. I do think the maps in Splatoon 1 are better, but Splatoon 3's overall movement, its weapons, all that stuff, I think is way better than Splatoon 1 for sure. The weapon kits, I think, in Splatoon 2 are better, even then, even though, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to rank where your favorite kits are, but I think... In terms of kits, my favorite might be Splatoon 2, but in terms of maps, Splatoon 1 is definitely better than that. But in terms of single player, the partying experience, the way multiplayer works, it just all feels really good on Splatoon 3. The dodge roll mechanic, the squid surge mechanic, all these new improvements that they put into the game is just a pretty, a pretty big deal. Especially the camera controls, where now it doesn't feel as weird, it doesn't feel like you're fighting the camera all the time now. The motion controls, I think, feel pretty good in this game, especially for the input delay that the Switch has. But overall, you know, I think I, I think Splatoon 3 might be my favorite Splatoon game, right behind, like, right in... But Splatoon 1 is very close behind it. Um, but I guess going on to this new season... Or we should probably talk about Side Order first, because Side Order came out before the new season. So yeah, let's talk about Side Order. Man, oh man, I love me some side order, man. I, I some still sometimes when I play Splatoon 3, that's basically what I'm playing is going through these runs, just having fun, doing casual runs. I know I beat it already, but I've done over 50 runs on this game. There's probably people that have done way more than I have. There's the speedrunners I've been watching. There's all these... All the, I remember seeing all the people completing their stories and... It was pretty fun. Side Order, I think, is a very nice introduction to potential that Splatoon can have. I think with the next Splatoon installment, be it maybe called Splatoon 4, when the new Switch releases or something, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I think it's a good entry point for introdu introducing the genre. I hope they carry it forward to the next game again. I hope they 
are able to somehow implement that into the single player that comes with the game. Maybe that's what they're going to do. I don't really know how they're going to design it, but I hope it does see... I hope we do see more of it in the future. I think the weapon selection is pretty meh. I was hoping it wouldn't be kits. I was kind of hoping it would be more of like you start with... You can choose a main weapon to start with. Any main weapon. It's like any main weapon in the game. And then once you get to those locker rooms that you see, you can buy like subs or you could buy specials. I think the kit system is fine, but it felt it felt like it would be nicer if there's more customizability during your run. I also think dirt runs should be a little longer. Doing 30 waves, it feels like you barely get to play with the full potential that your weapon has. But that's again, I think that's I feel like that's not really a huge complaint that a lot of people had. But something I noticed for sure is it just feels very short-lived a lot of times. You get you all your upgrades, all that stuff, and it's just very short-lived because you have everything upgraded, but now it's just time to fight the boss and you don't again, you don't get to enjoy it for as long as you want. The I think the overall level designs are pretty nice. They do kind of get repetitive at times because the way that I feel like they designed it. There's a few levels you'll see in wave in like the last 10 and then there's a few waves, a few levels that you'll see in wait in waves uh, from 10 to 20 and 20 to th uh in sorry, from 0 to 10 and 10 to 20. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. But I definitely that's one of the biggest critiques, but the most of the positives I have to say, I have way more positives than I do negatives. I think the story was simple and straightforward. There was also some really cool little details and backstory about um Deadfish, I think the name is, or Oct, I think that's what they're well that's what they're called in the DLC is Oct, but I'm pretty sure it's called Deadfish. I think that's their the the artist name, the DJ name. They they made has some pretty cool songs. The the soundtrack for this DLC is really unique and interesting. I like it a lot actually. It's really nice to listen to, especially whenever you pop into a level and you play you hear that one song that you really like and it it just feels like more of a vibe than a challenge. The 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 enemy choice or the enemy variety I think is a little slim, but they're still fun. At first when I was watching the trailers, I didn't think it was going to be that hard, but watching them like they they get overwhelming pretty fast, and especially when you get to the final I would say like last fifteen levels or I guess more of the second half of the run, it definitely becomes a little, a, a lot more difficult. But, yeah, it's just, it, it, really, it didn't take long to memorize how to kill enemies, the best m movement mechanics for them. Playing with, experimenting with every single weapon has been fun because you get to, while you build up your color chips, it benefits... Oh my gosh. Apologies again. I am yawning. But the benefits that you get from the color chips, they're not minute. They're very major. You can definitely notice them, especially from the first tier that you get. And then it just gets increasingly more noticeable the more you duplicate the color chips. The palette having a limit, I think, is fine. I think definitely... I think it's, what, 50 slots, 60 slots? I can't remember how many slots it is, but it builds up pretty fast, especially if you visit lockers. Having lockers as an option to make the game a little easier for yourself is nice. The the hacking that Marina can do, to which is which is literally a difficulty adjuster. You can either play it. On, you start the game on the hardest difficulty, and you unlock the easy difficulty as you go, which is a really cool way of handling it because that's kind of how roguelites or roguelikes, I don't know the way what this one would be considered right now. But the way they are designed is they always start very difficult and then they get easier as you go. It makes it feel a lot more rewarding. And I definitely felt rewarded when playing through the story, unlocking all the lockers, unlocking 
all the hacks and whatnot, getting the coins to be able to unlock all the hacks, and then the souvenirs that you can get towards the end are also really nice. The toy, the the locker items, there's actually some gear you can get. The the banners that you can get, all the badges and stuff. I still have yet to do all the badges. There's a lot of a hundred percenting you can do, little minute things you can find and it's it's really cool. It's a very it's very interactive. It puts a lot of it in your control. The boss fights do kind of get repetitive. It being only three bo three different bosses. I think it was the, it's the giant ball, and then there's the big rotating tower, and then the actually no, it's four boss fights because then there's the option. You also can get a chance to fight a bunch of I think AI controlled uh, inklings and uh, oct octolings and whatnot, or the android. What do they call it? I'm pretty sure it's the same little robots that you find on the test dummy in the multiplayer lo lobby. I don't know, they look very similar, but the boss fights are fun. It just, they can feel very repetitive. I was hoping to maybe see probably like five main, five main bosses and then there's the final boss. Maybe, or even maybe just rotate the boss on the final one because you always face the same boss at the end of the game and or at the end of the run I should say and it just kind of gets exhausting and I definitely slowed down in playing it but I still every time I get on Splatoon 3 sometimes I just don't want to play multiplayer or salmon run I just play side order and it's again it's a lot of fun if I had to do a rating I try not to anymore but if I had to do a rating I'd definitely give it a 4 out of 5 the stars in the context of Splatoon. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. There's a few things I definitely would change, which I mentioned before. But overall, it's a good fun time. It's a good entry point, I would say, to what Nintendo could do with it in the future. I think we're only seeing the beginning of it, and they definitely wanted to just make it as a DLC to gauge player feedback. It's similar to how Octo Expansion was, because Splatoon 3's single player is very much like Octo Expansion and Splatoon 2's, uh, Splatoon 1 and 2's campaign combined. Instead of, but instead of exploring the levels themselves for secret items, you you explore the overworld for secret items, and you get a lot of cool stuff out of it. So I hope that with the next installment of Splatoon, they somehow do what they did with Side Order, but just much much bigger, of course, with more development time and everything. There's a lot of cool they could do, but who knows? Moving on is over to the new season, which I believe is called Sizzle Season. I can't remember the season's name. I guess I should look it up while, but while I'm talking. The new season is pretty nice. I definitely think it was uh, pretty lackluster. Well, not really all in the same time. It's That one's a definitely a tough one. Looking at every, I, yeah, just looking at the new season, I think the two new weapons are pretty fun. I've, well, the Brella, I'm not a huge fan of. I just don't like Brellas. That's just me. I don't play Brellas. I've never been good at them. I don't really expect expect myself to get good at them. I just let people that like to play Brella have their fun with it. I'll definitely probably do some videos with Brellas in the future. I definitely, I have to get used to them because especially for some future ideas I have for videos those are gonna be very very nice the new map Marlin Airport which we're sitting on right now I think is pretty fun I, it's definitely a unique spin on things there's some actually some good fun routes to make playing mid is actually pretty fun the overall map I think is really fun it's not my favorite but I do like its style I like that it very much kinda gives that Mario Kart 8 airport vibe I forget what it's called I'm pretty sure the same if I'm not mistaken isn't doesn't the is doesn't the same team that works on Mario Kart work on this game I don't know if that's true I could be completely wrong there oh and f I failed to mention the side order reward that you get the side order reward that you get which is the Splatoon 2 lobby which I th I was very surprised not like okay I shouldn't say I was surprised with it but it was still very welcomed. And I thought it was very, 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 very nice. The 
I, it feels great to be able to walk in every single lobby from the past games in one game itself. It's just that's just the coolest the coolest thing. Okay, it's called Fresh Season, Fresh Season. Um, the new the all them adding all the Splatoon two gear to this game is cool. I I don't know if they added all the Splatoon one gear. I'm sure they probably will with this next season. But yeah, the hmm. There's really another, no other thing to kind of look at, I would say. The the new kits we got are kind of fun. I think the Dreadringer kit was definitely pretty underwhelming. The the Dowser Dooley kit is not my favorite either. The, what's it called? Playing with all the side order weapons is pretty fun, even though they're just the, the same weapon as previous kits just reskinned that way you can just five star more weapons now it's pretty nice i don't know what else what else is there really to say about this new season there's not really a lot of positive to say the patch notes that they did that they have were some of them were questionable but i think this recent patch was actually pretty cool the map changes i believe to undertow spillway were pretty nice. I kind of consider this a part of the fresh season because it seems like every mid-season update we get is a is a map rework, which I hope they're able to rework every single stage. I don't know how the whole update cycle is going to go. Maybe we'll see something with the Nintendo Direct in June. But overall, I think this season's pretty solid. It's still not my favorite season. I think the season with Crab Lake Capital um, and uh, Ship Shape Cargo is my favorite update still. Especially not be, not only because of the Dreadringer and Heavy Edit Splatwing, but we move on from that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all I really need to say about Splatoon Three, especially fresh fresh season. I think it's fine. I think it's a good update. Any update to a game I love is is good. Um, is good in my eyes because you know they put some effort into updating the game, adding new table turf cars. I'm pretty sure they did was cool um the surprise kit that they announced on twitter was nice <sighs> honestly i don't know what else to say <laughs> i haven't really been able to play this season as much as i wanted to but i do i did play the map enough to know that i like it i did play the dowser dualies enough to know that i think they're pretty fun i suck with them but i think they're very fun and yeah i i guess that's all really to say about my life there's really not much else to yeah that's going on it's more or less, you know, just me trying to live it and balance my time better. But again, I'm hoping schedules, or schedules, I'm hoping uploads would become more consistent in the future. I'm going to try my best. I can't promise anything. Again, I said that at the, at the beginning, but I, I just can't promise anything. I just, I, I'm, I try to be more about action than words because um, action does speak far. It speaks way louder than words, um, especially in my case. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. There's really, if there's really anything I missed to talk about, please let me know down in the comment section below. I appreciate y'all listening to me talk about things for a bit, talk about the new season. I definitely want to see if I can try to get a better side order review out for you guys. But overall, again, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to let, let you guys go. Thank you for taking almost 30 minutes of your time to listen to me talk. Uh, I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you've been staying safe out there, been having fun. Uh, I know LTC happened recently. That was here in Texas, actually. The I hope everybody that went to LTC had fun. Low Tide City, if you're not if you're not familiar. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym, work out, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys again. I love you all. Hope. You I love you all. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Or, hope you all... Eh. I'm, I haven't done this in a while. I hope you all did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let me know down in the comment section below. What was your favorite thing about Splatoon 3, at least in the recent updates, for Side Order and Fresh Season? And yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you all. Have an absolutely fantastic day.